Hi, it's Gavin again from Lucid Computer Solutions. Hope you're well. So this is a very techy video. It's a little bit off piece from our normal stuff, but I know it will help a lot of IT technicians out there. Hence, I've decided to put this out there. So yes, very techy this one, just to warn you, if you're a subscriber to the channel, um, you might think, wow, he's gone all techy all of a sudden, but it's purely to help other people. So please bear with me, I'm trying to help people. Um, so yeah, so what this is all about is overcoming a problem with dry tech routers, and specifically the problem behind me here. So you might be trying to access the web interface of your dry tech router, and you're getting this error, which says file system invalid. Now, what we tried was factory resetting the router, which wipes out all of the previous settings, but we still got this error. There was still something going on with the router where we just could not access the web interface at all. However, I found a way to overcome this and I wanted to share that with you all. So you're gonna need a couple of things before you begin. You're gonna need the latest firmware available for your router. So in my case, it was a Draytech 2860. I jumped onto the support page for that particular router and I downloaded the latest firmware and had that on my laptop ready to go. And then I downloaded the Draytech firmware upgrade utility. And again, that is available from Draytech as a download. And it's the little Windows utility that allows you to upgrade the router without needing to go into the web interface because obviously I can't get into the web interface to try and re-upgrade it so you need the utility so just to point that out here what I've done is I've been over to the Draytech website here this is the utility site from Draytech and the firmware utility is available from here so I've downloaded my utility and I've downloaded my firmware then what I've simply done is I've used the utility um, and I've told it where to, I appreciate it's really small on the screen there, but that is the upgrade utility. Um, and all you do is point it to the firmware that you downloaded, give it the default IP of your Draytech router, which is more than likely 192.168.1.1, and you hit OK, and it will send it across to your Draytech router, assuming, of course, that your router is connected to your laptop via an Ethernet port, of course. Um, and it will go through and re-upgrade and reapply the latest firmware to your Draytech router. And once that process has been completed, which takes around about five minutes, what you then should find is what we have now, and that is a fully working Draytech interface, which is back to how it is and how it should work, completely accessible again. So. Hopefully, that will give you some pointers. So I'll just very quickly summarize. Get the latest firmware, get the firmware utility, use your laptop, connect a, an ethernet cable from your laptop to the router, use the utility to send it the latest firmware, give it five minutes or so to apply, and once you reboot, I think you'll be straight back into your router and you can perhaps restore your configuration from backup or you can just reset it up again from scratch. Either way, you'll have a working router again. So I really hope that helps you overcome this problem. I know it was a little bit of pain for us, and it was just a little bit of trial and error that um, led us to, to using this method to overcome the problem. So I really hope it helps you guys out there. So if this has been useful, please help me and smash the like button. It really helps grow our channel. Um, please do subscribe. We release new content all of the time. Maybe not as techy as this video, but we release new content all the time. And likewise, please use the links down below to connect with me on the likes of LinkedIn and Twitter and Instagram. So that's me, Gavin, from Lucid Computer Solutions. I'll see you next time. Bye.